Greetings music makers, I'm Dr. Carey and in this video I'm going to show you how to record and publish a one person round on the acapella app. If you would like to see a tutorial on how to collaborate in the app, the link is down below. But before we go on, don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive more videos that teach you how to become a better music maker online. Ring that bell if you want notifications whenever I post a new video. And fist bump that like button for the algorithm so that YouTube will recommend my videos for other people who are looking to become better music makers. So without further ado, let's get ready to learn. First thing that you're going to do is open up the acapella app. And at the bottom in the center, you'll see the acapella icon. Go ahead and click that and you can click record new classic I'm going to use the 16 by 9 ratio since it's a two-part song I'm gonna click one that has two boxes because we're using the free version we're gonna click 30 seconds you get to choose which one you want to start off with so we'll start on the left one and we're gonna click on that one and then you can see our face on the bottom left you'll see a metronome go ahead and click that I already have the tempo set for 90 beats per second, so we'll use that. Now that I've got all the audio set, I can start recording. What I'm going to do is to push record. It's going to count down for 3, 2, 1. I'll wait one metronome click, and then I'll sing my song. Then I'm going to wait eight more clicks so the second part can finish, and then one more so that there's some silence afterwards. Ah, poor bird, take your flight above all the sorrows of this sad night. Once you push stop, it'll render. Then you can listen to what you have recorded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest, rest. I'm going to delete a little bit by sliding the little blue arrow. And that way, it'll end right when I want to. I'm going to push the green button up on top, and it'll render. Once it's rendered, I can click the other box and record the second part. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty easy. Now all I have to do is push the OK button and it'll render. And just like that, we have a round duet. On the bottom, you see five different icons. The first one is to playback. Uh. Then you push the X to get out of that. You can push the second icon, which allows you to edit audio. Uh, Add reverb. Take your 
you can also change a panning. adds a little warmth to the sound. If you have the premium version, you can also click on Equalizer and add some of those things, like uh, Choir EQ. And so let's exit out of that. The middle icon allows you to change the visual aspects of the video. And the fourth one allows you to change the border. I'll take this one because it matches my shirt. You can also use different textures and colors. That one matches my shirt even better. Finally, the last one allows you to add a watermark. You can add a title, make it bigger, smaller, move it around wherever you want change the color and the font all that fun stuff or you could change to an image and I have my icon here you can change the opacity and add shadows then you'll want to save and share you can save it to your camera roll once it's rendered you could also save the audio version another option is the private version so you can click on that and It'll give you a link that you can share, or you can click Collaborate. And then you can choose one of the five ways to share that way. When I click Email, it'll render the video and then split out a link for me so that I can share that with friends to collaborate with me. You can then just copy the link and share it wherever you want. And finally, to leave, all you have to do is push Cancel. If I click on my feed, you can see at the top, my video is right there. Well, I hope that video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Comment down below with the one thing that you thought was most helpful, and don't forget to share any music that you created as a result of this video down below, because we want to see the music that you made. See you next time.